Hey you guys, um, Coach Liz here. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to get predictable transformations with your health program. Now we all know that um, your, your program is very scientific. If you're following it, you should be getting results. You should be losing weight or inches just about every week. That's what I love. But it's important not to obsess about the scale. It's not just about the weight loss. It's about the mindset, those healthy habits that you are forming for long-term success. So I know it's hard, but try to only step on the scale once a week. Um, and there's other things that you could do to be tracking your success by tracking your daily action. So element 13, I want you to check that out. There's so many great tips on how to check your action um, to get the best results. And this is not just for your weight loss phase. You want to be intentional and mindful of your daily habits, what you're putting in your mind and your mouth um, long-term. You want to stay on that path for the rest of your life because you want to continue feeling good. This isn't a diet. So check out element 13. There's um, great tips on how to track your success. Um, so a few things that I want to cover is um, what happens if you see your weight loss slow down? like a plateau, right? Um, so just remember a plateau is actually if you're not losing anything, inches or pounds, and you're sticking to your program 100%, if you don't lose anything for three weeks, that is what we would call a plateau. If it's just been one week, then let's go over a system check, something that you can even do on your own or with your health coach, just to make sure that you're getting the best results from your program. Um, so the first thing is I like to ask myself, is there anything that I have done that might have kept me out of fat burn, might have kicked me out of fat burn, right? Because a lot of times if we're just honest with ourselves, we can remember, oh yeah, I have been skipping um, some of my fuelings or I did have that cupcake yesterday. Um, or, you know, a lot of times we can figure it out ourselves just by asking, is there anything that might have kicked me out? Oh yeah, I have only getting been getting a few hours of sleep at night, you know, whatever it is. But one thing that I want to remind you is the four components of the program. Remember, this is not just about your nutrition. There's four components. Make sure you're checking in, in with your health coach every week. That's what we do as health coaches. We can help you continue having success long-term because we've been there. We know how to keep things moving, but also um, having that extra accountability. Are you using your community? Are you hopping on the Habits of Health call on Wednesday nights, learning from other people? Are you in your Facebook groups, asking questions and participating? Are you getting healthy with other people in your life, people in your household or friends? That really helps also. Number three, education. Are you reading in your life book? We say five in one for your nutrition, but also five in one for your brain. Five minutes a day in your life book and one podcast or webinar per week. Make sure that you're working on the mental transformation. That's the biggest thing that will help you long term. And then number four, your nutrition. One thing I love about your program is it's very scientific. If you are following what's in the Optavia guide, you should be seeing success. Um, so if you're not, then reach out with your health coach. Maybe you're exercising too hard and things need to be adjusted, or maybe you misunderstood something about the lean and green or, or whatever. But a lot of times, if you go through the Optavia guide, you can um, just get a refresher, make sure that you're getting those things right. So that you're you're getting the right amount of proteins, the right amount of veggies. You're not just eyeballing it. You're actually getting what your body needs because too little protein or too little healthy fats or something could be keeping you out of fat burn. It could be slowing you down. Too many condiments. It's very scientific. It's very simple, but it's very scientific. So just make sure you go through as a refresher, your Optavia guide, um, your lean and green. Make sure you're not adding too many condiments or um, you know skipping things. Make sure you're getting all five of your fuelings because a lot of times you think less is better, but no, you want your body to get exactly what it needs um, to be burning fat. And um, that's how you do it. So check your lean and green and then Ask yourself, am I snacking in between meals? Because a lot of times little um, bites or tastes here and there might be keeping you out of fat burn. So I encourage you to keep a BLT journal, any bite, lick, or taste, even just for four days to track what you're doing. Go over it with your health coach. I love to just um, to look over that. I can usually tell if there's anything that might be keeping you out of fat burn if you are honestly tracking your nutrition for about four days. Also your sleep. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you super stressed right now? Have you been sick? Sometimes your body uses that energy to get yourself better and uh, maybe your inflammation is up a little bit because you're sick and that could be making you retain water, things like that. So going over it with your health coach is really helpful and keeping that BLT journal, go over um, that with your health coach 
and just see if there's anything that could be off. And sometimes things need to be adjusted as you are just in those last few pounds before your goal weight. Maybe um, things need to be adjusted or if you're exercising more um, or just switching up your lean and green. Did you know that if you do the same thing all the time, tricking your metabolism by maybe doing leaner meats, for a few days and lower carbohydrate vegetables um, and then going back or adding more water-based fuelings. Some of my clients do a water Wednesday where they, they do all water-based um, fuelings, shakes or hot cocoa, something like that. Um, that just usually gets the scale moving. Also, watch um, those extra things like nuts and cheese. Those are the big ones because it's hard to just eat 10 almonds, right? So if you catch yourself handfuls of almonds, it's best to just get them out of your house while you're working on um, that weight loss phase and then bring them back in in the right portions when it's time. But that could be stalling your weight loss. Too many nuts or cheese. That's something that I see often. But most importantly, work with your health coach. And... Um, I think that it's important to remember that these habits, being mindful and intentional about what's going in your, your mind and your mouth, that is not just for losing weight. That is for an intentionally led life. Um, you want to continue feeling good. So you want to continue being mindful, eating at the right times and the right balance, um, drinking your water, getting your exercise and your sleep and working on your mindset, um, really working on emotional eating or balancing emotions processing emotions and so that we're not buffering with food or with unhealthy things. So those are all things that are good to remember, but I just wanted to go over that quick systems check with you. Again, check out your Optavia guide. It's good to just do a refresher every once in a while. Definitely check out element 13. There's a great um, like charts in there that you can track your progress and um, connect with your coach. Make sure that you're checking in every week. And remember the four components of the program. This is not a diet. It's not just about what you're putting in your mouth. Um, so remember that. And that is going to help you to continue having success, to enjoy um, those benefits of health for the rest of your life. So I just wanted to leave that with you this week, and I hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you next week.